So here's the bottom of a CV9000 laptop computer made by HP. Um, the first thing that you want to do is undo all of the screws that are around here. The ones on the perimeter and inside, they're all the same type of screw. So once you have that removed, I've taken the liberty to do that ahead of time. You should have all the screws like this. Um, all taped together so you know where they came from. I put them inside of this container so when I turn the computer upside down it's going to still rest flat. I've also taken the liberty to take out six of the screws that are underneath the battery. These are the screws that are holding down the panel um, where you have the power button. When I took out the second hard drive on this computer, it came with two hard drives. I don't know why. Um, they're both very small so the storage factor doesn't really help too much. But it does help if you have one hard drive fail, then you just reinstall Windows on the other hard drive. So you take these hard drives out by lifting straight up like this. It's gonna pop out. You're gonna have two screws where your plate was screwing down. Um, when you do take the plates off, there's gonna be a little uh, mesh. You're gonna wanna take those off. This is a modification that I, found out that if you take these meshes off, there's going to be more airflow going inside your computer. There should be a mesh on two out of the three dates. Just take those off and toss them to the side. You won't need them again. The, I don't know why they put those me uh, meshes there because they do have air vents going through the back, but then it puts the mesh on top of it, which stifles airflow. Okay, so after you've taken out the screws the round um, corner, put them here. Then there should be three more screws underneath this vent right here. So take those three screws after you're done. You also want to take those down in the same area uh, that you have your other screws. I take them right next to each other because I know this area has three screw holes, yeah, three screws on there, so it's not hard to figure out which one goes where, especially in, in this back, because this is the only place where you're gonna have this many screws at one point in time. Okay, there's also gonna be a screw over here in this um, underneath the first hard drive gate. Um, I lost the screw a while ago. I've taken the computer apart many times. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you have the vast majority of screws in, your computer should be safe. And as long as it's not an important screw. Okay, so next you're gonna wanna undo the wireless network adapter, the BIOS battery. You're also gonna wanna pry this battery up and take it off. We're gonna be applying a lot of heat with our heat gun, so we do not want this battery attached to the computer while we're doing this, or else the battery runs the risk of exploding. Okay, so after you've taken that out, you also wanna get the two RAM chips out. And then unscrew the wireless card. This is actually gonna hold the bottom plate down um, that's something I found out after trying to pull the top plate, faceplate off. Then I realized, hey, it's probably being held on, down by those screws in there. All right, so that looks like all the screws. We also already took the, the CD screw out. So all I want to do is pop that right out like this. Let's bring this up. Okay, there we go. So we just pop that right out. Now we want to turn the machine upside down. it's upside down this should not be um, attached to anything anymore so just pop this up well actually it is attached to a wire that you'll see right underneath here but it's not going to be physically held in that one stationary place anymore all right so then underneath you should see three screws holding your keyboard down there's also one screw underneath the computer that was holding the keyboard down 
but I put that with the rest of the screws that go on um, the bottom side because it's one of those screws, it's not one of the, these style screws. Okay, so once you have your keyboard off, you're gonna wanna pop those little, uh, I'm not sure what to call them, clips up. Once the clips are popped up, just take your keyboard right off. Now, you're going to want to undo all the wires coming from the monitor to your um, laptop. So that one right there. Just follow it around the path. Okay, and now you're going to see two wires go underneath the motherboard on this laptop. Those wires were the wireless network adapter wires, which are right here. You're just going to pull them from the front side. I'll show you this here. You want to pull them from the front and just pop them right out. Okay, now continue to take off the wires leading from the monitor to your um, motherboard. All right, so now we're going to take off this top strip right here with the power button. Um, they have these taped down. I've reapplied my own tape because, I, like I said, I've taken this computer apart a few times, so that tape wore out. All right, so once that's popped out, you're gonna put that over here. Then you put tape on the, um, the keyboard screw, the screws for the keyboard. Hopefully it's done. This is what I think is by far the best way to keep track of your screws. You also want to make sure you have a relatively sticky tape so that the screws don't go anywhere. Okay, next I'm going to take the screws out of the speakers. There should be just two holding that down. Okay. Once the screws are out, you want to lift the speaker up and unplug it. Tape your screws. All right, so let's unplug the power for the monitor. Then there's going to be another wire right next to this power cord for the monitor going into a plug that's next to it. So unplug that. Then there's gonna be another plug next to that. You don't have to worry about that because that's attached to the fan. Okay, so now I'm going to unscrew the monitor. There are four screws holding the monitor down. Um, on the left side, if you're facing the computer screen, there's gonna be two black screws those go together on a little gray strip. And then there's gonna be a silver screw on a black platform. And on the right side of the monitor, there's gonna be another silver screw on a black platform. You wanna separate these screws so you remember which one goes where. I've memorized that already, so I'm just gonna put all these screws on the one piece of tape. Don't follow my lead if you aren't sure you'll be able to remember that. Okay, and then pop those other two screws out. Then your monitor should come straight up screws and put them on the tape. Okay. Don't lose any screws, especially for the monitor. It's okay if you lose one or two screws elsewhere, but the monitor screws are important. They do hold a lot of data. Okay, so now I have um, 
close to everything unplugged. There's going to be a strip going from over here down. You're going to want to pull the, the tab or the clip rather. Hang on, let me grab a small screwdriver to do this. When I pull the clip, then it's going to come out on one side. You're also going to unplug the other side. It, this is being held down by glue. Just um, leave the glue right there and just let it stick on there. All right, now there are just um, five black screws in this region and two silver screws that are holding this plate down right here. I'm going to take all of those out and then separate them because uh, don't want to mess things up. So I put the silver screws taped on this side because I know they come from this area. The black screws, they come from various places over here. But there should be a little triangle pointing to where those black screws come out of. So just try to remember that. Okay, once you've done undone all those screws, make sure to get this little clip that's coming from the touchpad to the motherboard out and then take that wire out. That's the, only, that's the last thing holding this uh, top plate down. Then it should just pop right off like that and put that to the side. All right, so now it's time to take out the motherboard. First, let's undo this clip right here you're gonna to wanna to pop one side up, the black side. All right, I meant the um, cream side, and then just pop that strip out. Okay. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that we're gonna to have to take out. Thank you. 